What's up, YouTube? This is Bait here, back again with my Phoenix Wright Let's Play. And are you ready for the final endeavor to begin? Because today it is indeed going to begin. No more investigation, no more shenanigans. Oh wait, there are going to be shenanigans, but no more investigation. That much uh, is guaranteed. Turn about goodbyes. Final day trial. Continue from the same point. And we got the scary, epic, scarily, epically music going on in the background. So, you know that something terrible is up ahead. So, basically, Edgeworth just, you know, confessed that, you know, he killed his own father. But, we need to prove him wrong somehow. <sighs> what else is there to this case today? We will find everything out. Or at least some of it. Let's go. Doom! Then I would like to resume our trial. George. Marge Edgeworth has admitted his own guilt. He has confessed his crime. Let us begin by hearing his testimony. And the pointless, uh, and the pointless let the defense do their cross-examination. The statute of limitations on the DL6 incident runs out today. Though it is unconventional for me, I'd like to run this one by the book. I see. Does the defense have any objections? OBJECTION! Nope. I just like to shout it, you know? No, Joanna. On Karma, you knew this was going to happen from the very beginning, didn't ya? <sighs> Very well. Doom. Will Mars Edgeworth take the stern? Hmm. Will the witness state his name and profession? Miles Edgeworth, I'm a prosecuting attorney. Mr. Edgeworth. Fifteen years ago, you mistake mistakenly killed your father, Gregory Edgeworth. Is this correct? <gasps> it is correct. Then testify about this matter to the court. When Edgeworth was telling me about his dream yesterday, I noticed something. One detail didn't quite fit. Hmm. That will be the key, but only if I can get it to work. Hmm. Please, please. Da da da. The DL6 incident. Music, go! That day I had gone to the courtroom to observe one of my father's trials. As we went to leave, an EQ struck, trapping us in the elevator. <laughs> My father and Mr. Yogi lost their composure and began to argue. Just then something heavy fell at my feet. I picked it up and threw it at Mr. Yogi. I wanted them to stop fighting. Boom. A moment later there was a single gunshot and then a scream. It was a terrible scream, I remember it to this day. That's all. Hmm. Predicted the hmm. And until you, until now you thought this memory was a dream. We were struck in that elevator for five hours. The oxygen in the elevator ran out and I lost my memory of the events. Bah! The same claim Mr. Yogi has made. Very well. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination, please. Yes, your honor. The DL6 incident. But where is the contradiction? Uh-huh. Earthquake struck, uh, trapping us in the elevator. You know, that is so far. that That is all true. Yes, lost her composure and began to argue. Just then, something heavy fell at my feet. I picked it up through and Mr. Yogi, you know, and he is 
sure that it is a gun, although he doesn't really remember. Uh, a gun shot, then a scream. Hmm. It must be something over here, so, uh, let's, um, something heavy fell at my feet. Let's begin by pressing him and, uh, you know, see if we can get something information. What was it? A pistol. Oh. I assume it was the bailiff Yanni Yogi's. Safety must have come off when he fell from his holster. Mm -hmm. And when you picked it up, what happened next? Okay, and then you pick it up. Let's press him here and then go to the court record. Uh, did you know it was a pistol when you threw it? I think I knew. I knew it was dangerous. But the air was getting so thick, I panicked. Finger snap! So you're saying that you threw the pistol at Mr. Yogi? I was in a daze. Hmm. A moment later, there was a single gunshot. Oh. A single gunshot, then a scream. That's. Actually, a single gunshot. The gun fired once. Yes. I think after. After I threw it, I lost consciousness. And, um. Here we have the bullet of that and DL6 case file. Let's check it real quick. Uh, hmm. The murder weapon was fired twice. Hmm. I think I think the only contradiction that I can find here is this victim data. The murder weapon was fired twice. So we got some. Same shenanigans that we, uh, that we had uh, with the uh, current case at hand that we already, you know, declared Edward is uh, not guilty of that. But, you know, same kind of shenanigans with the gun. There was some, you know, going on, you know, it was fired three times and then there were only two shots heard. But this gun was fired twice, so I'm gonna present this soon, but let's hear what Edward has to say first. Since then, they've echoed in my head every day. A gunshot and that horrible scream. The scream? Hmm, it was a good movie. Uh, I think I'm just gonna go with the DL6 case file right here. I don't know if I'm jumping ahead of conclusions again if I to pre present something else first and then later this, but this is a clear contradiction, so I'm just gonna go with it. Let's see. Objection. Yep, I was right. Are you sure you only heard one gunshot? <sighs> yes, I'm sure of that. But if you lost your consciousness after that, you would not have heard the second gunshot. I heard the shot and the scream, then everything faded, and after that, there was apparently another gunshot, possibly. This is my theory, I don't remember everything. I was unconscious until the rescuers came. I see. Oh, oh, oh. But that doesn't make sense. Let's dance. Look at this file one, one more time. This plainly contradicts the witness's testimony. You do enjoy dragging that file out, don't you? I don't accept this evidence unless you can tell us what page <laughs> it's on. <laughs> I'm not gonna read three pages. It's far too much for me. Which page contradicts my last testimony? It was the victim data. Look at the victim data in this file. Doom. It says quite plainly the murder weapon was fired twice. Doom. Miles Edward only heard one gunshot, yet the murder weapon was fired twice. The first shot uh, was the accidental, accidental firing when the pistol was thrown. Doom. 
So, who fired the remaining shot? Oh, god damn it! Hmm. Was there perhaps another shooter who fired that second shot? Jackson! Your Honor, as I'm sure you, you're aware, this incident occurred 15 years ago. The evidence is dated. Pistol did fire twice. However, the magic word. We do not know when that second shot was fired. Ho 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 ho! It might have been fired the day before the incident. Snap! There is no proof that the second shot had anything to do with this incident. What? Hmm, I see, I see. You do have a point, Mr. Wright? The murder weapon was fired twice, as we have heard. One of those shots was fired by defendant, a boy at the time. Do you have any proof that the the other shot uh, fired? The other shot fired had something to do with the case. Um, the other shot hmm, had something to do. I don't really know. Is there anything in this magical case here? Case file. Blah 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 blah. One bullet found in heart. Mm -hmm. What about this bullet itself? Taken from Gregory Edwards' heart. Um, still bears the clear ballistic markings. What about? Um, oh yes, this is a yes. I do. I have any proof? I wanna say yes, but you know. Wait a minute. Uh. Hmm. There is something over here. Could this? Well, he could have. Oh wait! Of course, it all comes to me now. Yes, 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 yes. Can you see this here? Then can you see this man over here? And let's check the bullet real quick. Uh, taken from Gregory Edgeworth's heart. Yes, it was taken from his heart, meaning uh, the bullet didn't go through. Meaning here is the second shot. Yes, I do have something. Yes, 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 yes. Excellent, I do have something. Haha, <laughs> doom. Your Honor, I think uh, I will be able to show you the proof. What? Impossible. No, no, Mr. Bon Karma, save your surprise for after you've seen the evidence. Very well, uh, Mr. Wright. Show us your proof. Ooh, I like this music. Do you have uh, evidence? What? Wow, that was a random one second lag, but uh, cool. I don't know if it shows in the recording, most likely real. But anyways, I digress. Do you have the uh, evidence that the second firing of the pistol is related to this incident? Yup, I do have it right here, the DL6 incident photo. Take that! Look at this photograph! Do I really need to show it to the point, you know, you can see it. This is a photograph of the scene of the crime 15 years ago. I can see that the victim is lying, lying there is Gregory Edgeworth. This proves that the murder weapon was fired twice at the time of the incident. This photo proves it. Durr. Oi. So let me guess this trade. This photo proves that the shots, two shots were, were fired? Where? Uh, your honor, please get get a clue. Okay, let's show him. So the judge, and we're gonna show this one right here. Doom. Uh, should be obvious. The contradiction is here. I see a bullet hole in the door. Doom. Your honor, Gregory Edgeworth was killed by a shot from the pistol. 
Yet, there is also a bullet hole in the elevator door. We also know that the murder weapon was fired twice. Thus, someone other than Edward fired that second shot. Go, 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 epic music. Doom, doom, doom. Order! Double. Mr. Ride, what are you driving at? It's simple, Your Honor. At the time of the incident, two shots were fired. One of them went into Gregory Edgeworth's heart. The other hit the elevator door. Doom! Remember that the defendant lost uh, consciousness after the shot he fired rang out. In conclusion, he, we must agree that the second shot was fired by someone else. Mr. Wright, but who... Who could that someone else be? The murderer, of course. Jackson! I knew I should have stopped you. I stepped in before your wild fantasies got out of hand. Mr. Wright! Look one more time. Look once more at the DS6 incident case file. Look closely. Try the case summary page. The case summary. Hmm, that's page one. Look what is written there. Not a single clue was found on the scene. Not a single clue of what? <gasps> the pistol had indeed been fired two times. Then the other bullet would have been discovered on the scene. <sighs> ah, he does have a point. The second bullet has never been found. Doom. Why? Because the second bullet does not exist. The bullet uh, that claimed Gregory Edgeworth's life was the one fired by his own son. Okay. That is the truth to this matter. The whole truth. It was undoubtedly something else that made that bullet hole in the door. Order! I will have order! Bye boy! Mr. Ride has proven one thing uh, to us quite clearly that the murder weapon was fired twice at the scene of the incident. However, as Mr. Wong Karma says, the second bullet fired was not found. It is highly unlikely that the police merely overlooked the second bullet. Doom. So, all we have is the single bullet fired. I'm afraid I have to discount the defense's claim. Ha <laughs> ha I praise the judge for his wisdom in this matter. Ah, uh, how did this happen? I don't believe that the second bullet didn't exist. Was I wrong? Have I been wrong about this the whole incident? <gasps> what are you doing, Nick? Why aren't you raising an objection? <sighs> I'm sorry, Maya. What? I, uh, it looks like I was wrong. Nick! If the second bullet wasn't there, then all my con conjectures are for nothing! No! But you said you'd do it, Nick. You said you'd get the Edgeward declared innocent. Uh, I'm sorry. It's just that when I saw the photograph, I thought that the two shots had been fired and that... Uh, I was so certain of it. I thought I'd won. I thought there was another person. Someone else who fired the killing shot. But now... I was wrong with the thing that it could have been that simple. This case has stood unsolved for 15 years. Doom! Well, it seems that we have finally cleared up this incident. Only one bullet was found at the scene of the crime. That shot was fired by Miles Edgeworth. Precisely. I would like to ask one thing from Miles Edgeworth before passing my verdict. Have you been paying attention to the trial so far? 
Yes, Your Honor. Do you have any objections? No, no, I do not. So you killed your father, though that was not your intention? Yes, I did. Oh dear. Oh no. He's confessing. <laughs> Very well. Statute of limitations on the murder of Gregory Edgeworth runs out today. Therefore, I must pronounce a verdict on the defendant today right here. Snap! Right now! Indeed! Does anyone have any objections? Well, we will find that out next time. Yes, this is a pretty good uh, point for a cliffhanger. <sighs> Will Edgeworth be sentenced to guilty verdict? Or does anyone have any objections anymore at this point? We will find out in the next episode that might just be the final episode of this whole chapter or episode 4. So it might actually be a longer episode. That is what I'm planning to do, so definitely stay tuned for the next exciting episode of Phoenix Ride, Ace of Spades Attorney. So, until next time, this is the Flaming Spade, signing out. Peace!